All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are gonna be showcasing the newly Dokkan Awakened Fizz launch at Rainbow Status and hopefully prove to people once and for all that she's actually one of the best TURs in the game right now. I mean, I've been saying this for a while now, but some people don't seem to believe me and I kind of get it because I mean, after all it is launch. It's not like a new Jiren or Broly or anything like that, but for what she is, which is a random non dokkan Fest exclusive uh, general SSR pool unit that got a Dokkan Awakening, she is absolutely insane. I mean, I'm not saying she's in the top 5 or even 10, but she's got to be in the top 15 or 20 of the best TURs right now, and as far as damage output is concerned, I'm pretty sure she's still in the top 10 of the hardest hitting TURs, which is also pretty freaking crazy. Anyways, with all that said, let's quickly check out her details before we get into the gameplay. Starting with her leader skill, which is Peppy Gal's category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. Super attack is supreme damage and greatly lowers enemies' attack and defense, and her passive is attack and defense plus 120%, key plus 3, plus an additional attack and defense plus 60%, and then launches two additional attacks, each of which has a high chance of becoming a super attack and a high chance of performing a critical hit for six turns from the start of turn seals the attack enemy super attack when there is another ally in the peppy gals category attacking in the same turn okay so that's the passive and then links are battlefield diva flea metamorphosis berserker the incredible adventure guidance of the dragon balls and shadowing the limits and her categories are Peppy Gals, Earthlings, DB Saga, and Transformation Boost. So that is everything you gotta know about the launch. She technically starts off as the blue hair launch, but as soon as she enters the battle, she transforms. So you're never gonna be able to use her in that form, all right? So, all right, with all that said, that is the launch right there. And as you can see, we're running a Transformation Boost team. I would have preferred to actually do this showcase on a the B Saga team, but it is literally impossible to find an int kid Goku friend. Trust me, I tried. I was refreshing for like at least 10 15 minutes, couldn't find a single one. So, transformation boost will have to do. And on this first rotation, she's got 146,000 defense, guys. 146,000. That is really, really good. It's not the craziest thing I've seen, but. It's up there, man. So defensively, she can hold her own. Now let's check out her damage. We do have the support, of course, from the Kid Boo, So that's going to help a lot. And hopefully, we see at least like two or three supers. All right, so we took 26 there. Or sorry, 76, which is still really good. And that super is at 1.5. There's a second super, so we're up to 3 million attack this turn. We're also sealing him, of course. There's the third super. So that's 4.5 now. Can we get a fourth? Can we get a fourth. Okay. Okay. She is proving my point exactly, man. This is this is exactly what I was talking about, right? Her damage output is top tier, man. Definitely one of the hardest hitting TURs. Um, not because her one super does a lot of damage. It's like 1.5. It's like nothing crazy. But it's the fact that she supers so many times, right? So even if she's only launching two supers, that's gonna be upwards of three million attack, and then three supers, 4.5, and then four supers, like we got that turn, that was like six million attack in one turn. And on top of that, she's also uh, greatly lowering the enemy's attack and defense, which is something that you can't overlook, because for you know harder events out there where enemies are hitting you really hard, she's gonna be extremely useful, because if she's greatly lowering every single time she supers, and she's supering multiple times, after she's done, the enemy's gonna be doing way less damage than they normally do, right? So if you guys are struggling with Super Battle Road, Extreme Super, extreme super Battle Road, or um, what else? Uh, oh, Battlefield, where the Tech Jiren, or the, not Tech Jiren, the Final Boss Jiren actually hits really hard. If you guys are struggling with any of those events, then throw her on the team and see if she helps because it, it, it should make a big difference as far as how much damage you're actually taking. So like in this instance where we have type disadvantage, if we get a couple of supers off here and lower his attack a couple times, then the uh, Magetta, man I keep confusing these guys names like the side characters, 
Like Batamo, I constantly call him Bragamo. I'm like, that's not right. Bragamo's the wolf dude. But I just get it confused in my mind sometimes. Anyways, um, yeah, as you can see, Vegeta is doing very little damage to us. Normally, I'm pretty sure we would have taken like... We would have taken at least like a couple thousand, right, for normals. But since he got his attack lowered, greatly lowered, multiple times, he's gonna hit like a wet blanket. So yeah, she's very useful in many ways, doing crazy damage, greatly lowering attack and defense, uh, getting high chance to crit, high chance to launch additional supers, up to four supers per turn. Uh, what more is there to say, man? That's, that's launch for you, right? She's just really good, and I was actually shocked, honestly, when I first saw how good her Dokken Awakening was. Like, I, I knew it was gonna be solid, because even her Unawakened form was very good, right? But I didn't know she was going to be this good. I didn't know she was going to be like one of the best TURs in the game good. And hopefully at this point you guys can see why I keep saying that because she she is, man. She's, she's actually that good. And so is the Oceanus Genron actually. I will be doing a showcase of the Oceanus Genron Awakening, but I don't think Oceanus is as good as Launch, like as good as Oceanus is, and she's very, very good. I think Launch is better and um, I mean, on top of that, she's also an awesome character, right? She's probably my, I want to say second favorite Dragon Ball girl, okay? Number one, as you guys know, I mean, I don't have to say it at this point, but for new people out there, my favorite Dragon Ball girl is no question going to be, uh, not going to be, it, it just is Android 18, right? It's always been Android 18 since day one, since I was a kid watching Dragon Ball for the first time. It was, there was just a connection, you know? So Android 18 is number one, no question. It's not even close. But number two, you know, a little bit ways below, I think it's launch. Specifically blonde launch. Blue haired launch is cool too, but I don't know. She doesn't really do it for me. Uh, blonde launch though is uh, it, it, it's nice. I know the homie Goresh, he's told me that his favorite Dragon Ball girl is blonde launch. And at, at the time I was like, Interesting choice. I mean, I, I, I can see it, but I don't really know if uh, I would rank her that high, but Now that I'm actually thinking about it She's definitely number two, right? Uh, it's Android 18 number one launch number two and from there um, I don't really know like how, how I would rank the rest of them to be honest like You know, Bulma's up there uh, 21's up there Adele's nice too but I'm not really sure what the actual ranking would be. Yo, launch though, for sure. Top two. Okay, so uh, that was such a random tangent. I don't know how it got there. But uh, the point is, oh, phone's going to die. You know what? We're going to wrap this up anyways. It's okay. Uh, what was I saying again? Yo, I just completely lost my train of thought. Uh, oh, yeah, random tangent. Let's get back to the showcase though. Let's get back to the main topic, which of course is this Fizz Launch Awakening. And uh, there's not much more I can say, man. I, I love this unit. The only the only knock against her would be that uh, in longer events, she's definitely much less effective because after six turns, which is basically now, uh, she loses most of her passive. So right now, she doesn't have the additional supers anymore. Uh, she doesn't have the high chance to crit. She basically just has 120% attack and defense, as well as I think the uh, ability to seal still if there's a Peppy Gals category ally on the team or on the rotation. But outside of that, yeah, she lost her attack and defense too, uh, the 60% additional attack and defense. So yeah, there you go. Big difference there. Uh, we might take a lot of damage here as well. Uh, yeah, 129k. So as you can see, as you can see, she definitely is a lot less effective after the first six turns have passed. But on any event where um, her passive will be active for most, if not the entire event, she is a beast. She is a monster. It's just for events like this one, the uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History stages or Legendary Goku event, she's not going to be the best option. I'm not saying she's unusable after turn six, she's just a lot worse after turn six. So yeah, she's a... Um, a short event unit for sure, kind of like the um, the Fit Boo token awakening. Same thing, Fit Boo before he loses his passive is amazing, right? But unfortunately, he's 
not very good after his passive goes away. So a yeah, similar situation here, but like I said, Blanche is still an amazing unit and uh, give her a shot guys. If you have her and you haven't actually awoken her yet, awoken, awakened, haven't tested her out yet, then definitely give her a shot. I think you'll be very impressed with what she can do. But that's it guys, that's gonna be the showcase. Um, got a little bit weirder in the middle when I was like ranking Dragon Ball Girls. I don't know how we got there, but it is what it is. Uh, and I should stop talking before I get in trouble because my girlfriend might be watching and uh, she might not like me just talking about other Dragon Ball Girls being close to Android 18. Although, now, you know what, I did say, I, I was clear about the fact that Android 18 is a clear number one, right? Like she's far and above or far and away above everybody else. But number two, like a far number two, would be this blonde launch. And I'm gonna just leave it there. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. That is the video. I appreciate your viewership as always. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the uh, launch Doken Awakening. And um, that's it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.